Hi, it's Chester Topple at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to write some VBA code that will loop through the files in this specified folder, pick out the file that was created last, uh, the most recently created file, and then copy the sheet within that workbook into our current workbook. Now, to achieve this, we're going to use the file system object within VBA. And the file system object is a useful way of accessing your filing system on your uh, machine, your directory, your PC, or whatever. Now, you're actually going to need to create a reference to that within the Visual Basic environment. To do that, you go to Tools, References, if you scroll through here, the one you're looking for is Microsoft Scripting Runtime. Microsoft Scripting Runtime, there it is. Tick that and then click on OK. And that's all you have to do through that menu. So I've started our code off for us. I've called it Import Most Recent File. Now to use the file system object, you need to create a new instance of it and you do that with the following code. So I'm going to declare a variable called FSO, file system object, as scripting dot file system object. And then set FSO equals new scripting dot file system object and that's enough to create a new instance of the file system object for your sub procedure so the idea is that we're going to loop through all the files in that folder i showed you at the beginning of the video so we're going to create two declare two variables one for the folder and one for the individual files within that folder so we'll start with the folder so if i say dim my folder as scripting dot folder and then uh, I'll set that to set my folder equals then FSO dot get folder And then I can put in the path of the folder that I'm interested in. So if I click up there, copy that, paste it in there, close the bracket. And now I've declared that folder. So the next step is to declare the variable for the actual files within that folder. So I'll call it FLE as scripting dot file and I'm also going to declare another variable for the newest file you'll see how this comes to play later on so dim newest file as scripting uh, dot file I'll just put a capital F on there as soon as I'm capitalizing the others and there we are, there are my variables. So now I can start my for each next loop. So I'm gonna say for each file in uh, my folder dot file, files, collection of files within that folder. So, what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to say if newest file is nothing. So on the first loop through these files, the newest file variable is not going to be set. It's only set once we decide it's the newest file of all the files that we've looked at so far. So we're going to say if it's nothing, which will be on the first loop, then set newest file equals that particular file. It's almost like a dummy uh, dummy bit of code for the first loop. It just makes sure the first file becomes the newest file, the first one that we look at. 
So then we're going to say if newest file dot date created. That's a useful bit of information you can get using this file system object is less than the file that we're currently looking at. So the date created is before the file that we're currently looking at. Then set the newest file to be the particular file that we're looking at. Okay, so it'll swap which file is attached to that newest file uh, variable if the current file, which is the newest file, is older than the file that we're currently looping through or the loop is that currently looking at. Okay, then that's what we need to do on that really. And then we can say uh, next FLE and that will loop through those files, all the files in that folder. So now we've actually found out which file is the newest file and we would need to open that file. So we can say uh, workbooks.open and then newest file. Then we're going to copy uh, the sheet within that workbook, so active workbook dot worksheets. Now I'm going to assume here the sheet is always called sheet one. Uh, dot copy and then we're going to say after workbooks now the name that I've given this workbook is called import uh, latest file dot xlm that's the file that we're currently in xlsm And what we're going to do is put it after the first sheet. So we'll say uh, workbooks dot sheet one, not dot sheet one, but sheet one. Okay, it's a bit off the screen there, but I hopefully you can see it. Okay, uh, what we'll also do is just name that sheet. So we'll say that active sheet dot name equals newest file dot name that just name the sheet with the name of that workbook and then what we ought to do is close that new that workbook that we've opened from the folder to do the copying so we can just say workbooks with newest file dot name dot close Okay, so code's completed. I'm going to run it. And it's got so far, you can see it's opened up uh, the newest workbook there. That's the one with the um, latest date created date. So I'm gonna debug, highlights the offending line if I just read it, I can in fact see that this is the problem here. Sorry, scrolling over. This should be worksheets. And then if I continue to play, you can see it's closed that newest workbook and it's imported or copied uh, that sheet into our new workbook and renamed the sheet name with the file name of that particular Excel workbook. Okay, so it's completed the task for us. Um, hopefully that's been helpful for you. What I will do is create a page on the Blue Pecan website with this code in, so you can easily pick it up there if it's going to be useful for you and your project. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.